Hey guys, my name is Katie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day and I'm currently in my kitchen as you can see and it's now 10 a.m. so I'm a little bit late and what I'm gonna make today is some oatmeal. I'm eating oats every single day. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how I make them. So all we're gonna use today is some old-fashioned rolled oat and I measure my food. I personally prefer it because then I know how much I'm gonna eat and now I'm going to show you how I make my oats. So first I'm gonna put the oats in a bowl and then I'm gonna add some rice milk. You can add any milk that you want but I prefer rice milk. And then I'm also adding some water and put it in the microwave. I think it's way easier and quicker than making it on the stove. And when it's done, I'm gonna add some cinnamon and stir it around. I like to add a lot of cinnamon into my oats, as you can see. And then I'm adding some chia seeds and some blueberries. I love blueberries, but you can add any other fruits. And some walnuts and some almonds. And then I'm topping it off with some agave syrup. And here is my finished oatmeal. I know it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing, but it tastes so good. And I'm also going to make myself a coffee and I'm using the exact same rice milk. Like I said, you can use almond or oat milk or regular milk. So it's now 12.30, I'm still editing a video, so I'm still working. And I thought I'm gonna make myself a snack because I'm gonna work out in about an hour, one and a half. So it's gonna be a late lunch, very late lunch today. So for my snack, I like to have rice waffles and I put some peanut butter. This one is not salted and there's no added sugar in it. And I'm also adding a little bit of jam for the flavor. And I'm putting this onto my rice waffle and eating some grapes with it, pretty simple. So I just worked out, as you can see, I'm all sweaty. I made myself a shake, a protein shake. I always drink one after my workout. All I did pretty much is I took my uh, protein powder and mixed it with some water. So this is my protein shake. I just add water, I don't add milk. And this is my protein powder, it's from ESN and it's vanilla flavored. It's whey protein and it tastes so good. So I'm now changed and uh, today we're going to make some lentil salad. I'm going to show you how I make it and I'm going to make four portions so I have enough for the entire week which is super easy because then you don't have to think about what you're going to eat and you also make sure that you're going to eat healthy because obviously you already have the food in your fridge and you don't want to waste it. So yeah, I'm going to show you how I make my lentil salad. So I'm going to show you now how I make my lentil salad and I have some lentils obviously and some corn. I already opened that and put them in different containers because they're from the day before and then I just separate them into four different containers so you have meals or lunch for four days. These are four portions and then I'm cutting some cucumber and I'm also cutting some bell pepper and tomatoes. I'm just putting them into the bowls and measure it with the eye like I don't weigh it because I think it's veggies and they don't have a lot of calories so I just measure it with the eye and make sure it's even and I'm also having some carrots I cut them the day before that's why you don't see me cutting them but I just cut them uh, very fine and then I'm topping it off with some olive oil and some pumpkin seed oil I don't know if you have this in other countries, this is something very typical in Austria, but if you don't, you can use uh, maybe some balsamic or something similar like this. And I'm uh, adding some salt, pepper and garlic powder for seasoning. And the last thing I'm adding is halloumi. If you don't have one, you can also use some feta cheese. And then I'm just putting the lid on my containers so that I have three more meals and yeah, that's lunch. So 
So for dinner, I'm going to make some patty-less burgers with potato wedges and some zucchini and mushrooms as a side dish. And I'm just cutting the potatoes in kind of like wedges and I'm also showing you uh, to cut them, how to cut them in different ways, but you can cut them however you like. I'm just adding then some olive oil and some salt and some pepper and some paprika so you can add any seasoning that you like to have. And then I just mix it up very well and then I put it in the oven and I'm doing the exact same thing with carrots because I had so many carrots at home from uh, my lunch. So I decided to make some carrot fries as well. You can definitely leave this out but like I said I had them from my salad. And then I'm just uh, adding the exact same seasonings except for the paprika. So for the burgers I'm going to use lean minced beef, two eggs and panko bread and I'm mixing this all up. Uh, obviously you should add the spices before you mix it up but I forgot so I'm adding them in later. And I'm just spicing it up with some salt, some pepper, chili flakes, garlic powder, um, some oregano, some parsley. I'm gonna leave it in the description down below because I added a lot of spices because obviously you can add way more to your beef because it doesn't taste like a lot. So just load it up with spices, it will taste so 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 good. Don't be shy about the spices, you can add so much you won't really taste it later. Even if you think that's pretty much, as you can see I added a lot of garlic powder. Then I'm trying to form a patty, I just take an estimated amount of beef and then I roll it into a bowl and press it down and then try and soften the edges. And after you've formed pretty much of a patty you can put it onto your kitchen surface and form it a little bit more so that it doesn't fall apart later on. As you can see, I'm just pressing the edges, pressing it down and doing that until it's pretty much round. So for my veggies, I have mushrooms and zucchini and I just chop them into some small pieces. You can chop them however you want or eat veggies that you want and I'm roasting them in a pan and as well as the beef. And when they're done, my potatoes and my carrots are already finished. They look so delicious and I just put it all on a plate. And as my patty for my burger, I'm just using some lettuce. And then I'm topping it off with some pickles, some tomatoes and some red onion. And on top, I just put some mustard and ketchup. You can obviously add everything that you want to have. This is just, this is just what I'm having. And then I'm also made myself a side salad. It's just some salad with some cucumbers, tomatoes and balsamic glaze. So that's pretty much it. It tastes so good. It's so healthy and so delicious. It's so filling also by the way. And this is what it looks like. It's now around 9 p.m. and it's been one and a half hours since I ate dinner and I'm going to make some dessert now and my favorite thing to eat is Greek yogurt with some fruit and now I'm going to show you how I make it. I'm gonna use fresh fruit because I prefer the taste of it but you can also use frozen fruit if you want or if that's the only thing you have at home and I'm gonna use blueberries and strawberries because it's finally strawberry season and I'm really enjoying it. I love strawberries. And this is what it looks like, just some yogurt with fruit topped off with some agave. Very simple but so delicious. This is my favorite dessert for the evening and yeah, that's all.